general, maxillary premolars have a buccal ridge with adjacent buccal developmental depressions. The first premolar has two roots, the second premolar has one root. The maxillary first premolar is larger than the second premolar. The crown is centered over the root. The crown is also wider in the buccal lingual direction than in the mesial distal direction. There are two cusps of approximately equal size. This is the maxillary first premolar. The mesial and distal contacts are just cervical to the junction of the occlusal and middle thirds. The buccal cusp is slightly distal to the long axis. Therefore, the mesial cusp slope is slightly longer than the distal cusp slope. From the lingual, the lingual cusp is slightly offset to the mesial. The lingual cusp is also slightly shorter than the buccal cusp. On the proximal view, the mesial marginal ridge may have a marginal groove or spillway. There's also a distinct depression on the mesial root. The general outline from the occlusal view is a hexagon shape. There's a prominent buccal ridge, a central groove with few supplemental grooves, mesial and distal pits, mesial and distal converge towards the lingual, and there are triangular fossa. The facial of the maxillary second premolar the buccal cusp is not as long or as sharp as the first premolar. Mesial and distal contacts are just cervical to the junction of the occlusal and middle thirds. From the lingual view, the lingual cusp is slightly offset to the mesial. From the proximal view, height of contour on the buccal is in the cervical third near the junction with the middle third. On the lingual, it's in the middle third. There's no mesial marginal groove. From the occlusal, the outline is more rounded than the first premolar. There's a short central groove, convergence towards the lingual, a buccal ridge, there are more supplemental grooves giving the appearance of the occlusal a more wrinkled look.